Hello everyone, my name is Eliza and I'm a naturalist at Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. However, today I am at Clark Reservation State Park. Now, this week we're talking all about geology. And so I want you to take a moment and imagine that where you're standing right now is underwater. There are some pretty crazy creatures swimming and crawling all around you. There are big armored potato bug looking things that scuttle past on the sea floor. There are corals that are swaying in the current. Strange underwater flowers are stretching upwards and there are huge armored fish out on the hunt. The reefs are made out of clam like animals and squid and shells are also out looking for a meal. Sounds kind of crazy, right? Well, believe it or not, about 400 million years ago, that is what most of New York State looked like. This period is called the Devonian period. So the Devonian period happened almost 400 million years ago, at a time when North America, Europe, and Asia were all connected in a landmass called Laurasia. At that time, what is now central New York was underneath a shallow tropical sea which made it the perfect place for Devonian creatures to thrive. Evidence of these creatures can be found all over central and western New York in the form of fossils. Fossils only form under very specific conditions, and usually only plants or animals with hard parts, like bones, shells, or tough bark, form fossils. In order for a fossil to form, when an organism dies, it must be buried quickly. The animal or plant has to be sealed in the sediment so that microbes and oxygen can't get to it and cause it to decompose. Sediments like clay, silt, and sand do this well. That's why most fossils are found in sandstone, siltstone, shale, or limestone. As more and more sediments build up on top of the animal, a process called diagenesis takes place. Diagenesis is when sediments around the soon-to-be fossil gets heated and compacted. This causes water-carrying minerals to seep through the new rock. These inorganic materials replace the organic materials, like tissues and bone, in the plant or animal, making a fossil. All of this must happen just right for a fossil to form. If there is too much heat or pressure, it won't work. The whole process can take thousands of years. Here at Clark Reservation State Park on the Table Rock Trail, you can find many different Devonian fossils if you look closely at the limestone rock under your feet. So, what are some of the common Devonian fossils? That's a great question. These are pieces of trilobites. Trilobites have been referred to as the potato bug of the sea. Their closest living relatives today are horseshoe crabs. Trilobites were the first known animals to evolve true eyes. Other animals at the time, or before, could only see light and dark, but trilobites had compound eyes like today's insects. In the shallow seas of the Devonian period, horn corals, like these ones, would have made up gigantic reefs, along with other ancient animal and coral species. Horn corals are distant relatives of modern corals, and just like the ones that make up today's reefs, horn corals would have had squishy tentacles that would not have fossilized well. Crinoids, also known as sea lilies, were underwater, flower-looking animals. Kind of crazy, right? They were filter feeders and are considered to be cousins to starfish, sea urchins, and sand dollars. They're actually still around today and live in very deep places in the ocean. It is common to find pieces of their fossilized stems. Like these. Brachiopods 
are another type of Devonian creature which are still around today. They may look similar to clams and other bivalves, but they are actually not closely related to them at all. Brachiopods were also very important to the formation of Devonian reefs. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about all of the ancient animals that used to live right here where we live now. Next time you go out for a walk, keep an eye out for the Devonian fossils that you might see and other ones. If you are interested in learning more about Devonian fossils and other cool geological time periods, check out the Museum of the Earth's webpage to see their extensive fossil collections. If you find anything cool out in nature, like fossils or anything else, feel free to email us at connect at baltimorewoods.org. And if you want to see more videos like this, head over to baltimorewoods.org or check us out on social media. Have a great rest of your day.